U.S. automakers are responding with layoffs after roughly 13,000 UAW workers walked off the job Friday. The union and the big three automakers haven't been able to reach a new contract. Brady Trimble on the latest talks to find a deal. The United Auto Workers and the big three Detroit automakers back at the bargaining table on Saturday, one day after the union went on strike. Workers are pushing for higher wages and better pension plans. In their latest offers, Ford, GM, and Stellantis, which owns Chrysler, included a pay increase of around 20 percent over the four-year contract. The UAW president says so far those offers are not enough. When we get to where we feel we need to be, we can take an agreement to our members, uh, we'll do that. Ford has already laid off 600 workers at one plant because of the strike, and GM warns one of its factories could shut down as soon as next week. The union president calling that a squeeze tactic to get members to accept an unfair deal. President Biden has voiced his support for the striking workers, sending two members of his administration to Detroit to help aid the negotiations. Auto companies have uh, seen record profits. Those record profits have not been shared fairly, in my view, with those workers. It's not clear if the union welcomes that help. Some workers fear the White House's embrace of electric vehicles means they could be out of a job in a few years. That's why union members are also seeking stronger job security as that EV transition happens. And that was Grady Trimble reporting.